Everyone, so what I'm going to do here is teach you how to play the Taylor Swift uh, We're Never Getting Back Together. This is going to be a stripped back version of the song, but when you get all these parts down, you've basically got everything you need for the whole tune. Um, so what we're going to do is a longer video. I'm going to start doing a lot more longer videos on YouTube now than shorts because I really feel I really want to teach you a lot more than trying to squeeze it into a minute. So we're going to get straight in. So the chords you need in this video, right? C add nine. If you've never played C add nine before, it's based on a G chord. You've got string four, fret two, string five, fret three, string two, fret three, and your pinky finger there on string one. Now, this song is based on chord, move to another chord, do a riff, strum a chord, and then do a riff and another chord. It's the riff that's a tricky bit, so I'm going to show it. So you just strum down five strings on the CI9, then we shift these two up one string at a time, and the riff goes six, four, three, two, two, three. So if we turn to our side, six, four, three. Now you'll notice I'm going a certain amount of downs and a certain amount of ups. Six, four, three, two, two, three. So if we play that again, C, I, nine. Pause. Make a G. All right, and then we go to a D chord. If you haven't played D before, we do need to do a full D in this. You can't play an easier D, but we're going to play a full D. So string three, fret two, string one, fret two, string two fret three and then we're going to just strum the d from string four and then we're going to go into e minor now you may be playing your e minor that way if you've been playing a while it's a good idea if you start playing e minor that way that's why i always teach it it means you can bring in that first finger for other chords and linking stuff together which we'll do in a another exam soon so we're going to do the e minor this is the same strings picked as we did on the g six four three two so there's a structure to it. We strum down, pause, make the G chord, six, four, three, two, two, three, and that's down, 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 up, up, up. Strum a D, and then we go into E minor and pick six, four, three, up, 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 which is down, down, down. Now, the tricky thing with this is skipping the string that you have to. You've got a strip string, uh, strip, can you say it? <laughs> strip string five, not easy to say. So we're jumping from six to four. So we've got. Just from the side. Because the song's quite quick tempo. You've got to then get that up quite fast to get the riff to sound like it. But the best thing to do when you're working on this is take your time, do it really slowly. All right, so that's part one. Okay, we'll look at part two where we take the same chords in the same order. Right, that probably looks really confusing. It's not really. What we're going to do is take CI9 again. So you're going down, CI9, picking down five, four, up two, three. And then hit string three. So five, four, up two, three, hit three. Play your six and or your G and hit string six. And we're going on six. Up two three. So back again from the C I nine five four two three on an up hit a three and then go to your G chord which is six four two and three on an up one more time five four two three up hit three G chord six four two three then we go to the D chord. Now you notice this finger, if you've been playing a while, you could use that as an anchor finger to keep your, your finger straight on, or sorry, down for those chords, because it, it is in three chords here, and then, and then on the D we're going four, three, two, three, on E minor, six, four, 
So on the D that's four, three, two, three, E minor. So we've got there's one extra note that's added in. When we come from the D, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, then it goes to string four. It does make it sound like you're playing loads of extra things, but you're not really. You're just actually adding in a note that's part of the E minor chord. Just do that D part again. Four, three, two. And then we're going to play open four, which is open fret two, three, two. So that's... Slowly, we're going to go over all that again. So, from this, this is section B, second section five, four, up two, three, three, and then play your G, six, four, two, three, on and up. On the D, then we're going to go, which is four, three, two, three, hit the D string, and that's only e minor, it's So if you're getting stuck with this, I hope you're not getting frustrated. Just take your time, play, pause the video, put it back a bit, go back over that again each time. Make sure you work on each section separately until you get that. And then we're going to bring in some rhythm and spice it up a bit. So what happens then for the third part is we're going to play the C add nine, and then the G. Now what's happening here is we've got C add nine, two strums, cut the chord off. G, D, and we're going to go E minor 7, and then D sus 4. So you notice there these fingers aren't coming off, so, so it's... In fact, they're staying on the whole time. So C, I, D, pause, G, pause. We're going to do the D, E minor 7, D sus 4, so then one more run with that, C add 9, pause, G, pause, D, pause, E minor 7, and then D sus 4, and then the rhythm takes that together and puts a bit more rhythm, and the rhythm we're going to do is a very common one, 1 and 2 and uh, so we're going to go down, 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 up. So we're going to go. Those two chords again, E minor 7, D sus 4, D, C add 9, G, D. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, Same chord order the whole way through, E minor 7. Really nice way of doing it. Now it's the song's quite quick, and this version I'm doing is loosely based on uh, one of the grade one rock school grades. So we wanted to just take that and kind of add a few extra things into it. You've got a few options on that D D sus four or D works really well. You could go if you want to just put a D chord in and make it that bit easier. Either way, it sounds good. Really good song to do, and really good for getting alternate picking with your right hand. But a lot of people in my lessons have found tricky is just bouncing over string five. Remember to go down, 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 up, 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 and work on both sides of the pick. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, it's a bit longer than the short, and I like. I'm going to do some, as I said earlier, a lot longer videos from now on because the shorts you just cannot cram in enough of a lesson, and I really want to help you with your playing and give you some really good song suggestions as well, and something to think. Some things to think about so what i'm going to maybe do is a few of the shorts that i did recently i'm going to do longer videos for them so you can really see what i'm doing and give you loads of ideas 
to help you with your plan. So even if you only know a few basic chords, there's loads you can add in and spice them up. All right, thanks very much for watching and see you again in the next video. Bye.